Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter, and today I want to show you how to make a swing card. It's also called a flip-flop card. See how you open it up and it kind of flip-flops back and forth? Isn't that cool? The stamps I used on today's card are by About Art Accents, and you can find them at uh, www.artneco.com. And the idea for this card uh, was because the layout challenge this week at uh, Oriental Stamp Art was to make a swing card. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And it's very easy to do, and I made a little template here, which you can print off from my blog, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com. And it's a two-scale template, so if you want to print it off, um, you can kind of even set your paper on and see how it's lining up. But you really just need to look at it. You don't need to print it off, but in case you want to, it's there on my blog. So the first thing you want to do is cut your paper, and I recommend using one of these cutters. This is the um, cutter peed from EK Success. You want something that you can kind of stop and start your cut within the middle of the sheet. And I'm cutting this paper to six and three quarters by five and a half, and I'm using my uh, arm, arm here, centering arm, measuring arm to make sure that I've got everything the right size. Six and three quarters, I'll cut five and a half here. Take your time to make sure you're cutting it accurately. Whoops, I didn't cut all the way through there. There we go. And the nice thing about this cutter is that the blade here, you can pop it off and you can put a scoring blade on and you're gonna need that for this. I tried this first using my score pal and um, using um, a combination of my score pal and this cutter, but it just, it was very hard to get my scores where I wanted them to be. So this works a lot better. And um, something I didn't know, and I'll show you right on this cutter, if you can see, I hope you can see that, I'm trying to catch the light, right there there's like a little uh, mark in the plastic on these cutters, and that's how you can figure out where your cutter will start and stop. I just learned that today trying to make this card, isn't that crazy? So basically what you want to do is score, um, and we've got our, our guide here on the side, you can see how far down you're scoring. You want to go down uh, one and a quarter inch from the top, you want to be in two and three quarter inches from the side. So I'm moving my paper to two and three quarter inches here on the arm. And then I'm going to score by holding my paper in place and pulling the um, little score head down until that little mark on the side is at one and um, a quarter inches. And you might even want to pull it down and then push it and score it back so you don't overscore. It's not a big deal if you do though, so don't worry about it. And then I'm going to drag down to the bottom of my paper and go up a um, one and a quarter inches. I am going to do that like I just recommended. I'm actually going to put my marker on that and then score down. And then I'm going to flip my paper over and do the exact same thing to the other side. This is a symmetrical card, so you're going to do the same thing to each side. So following my own advice that I just, just came to me is, you know, start at one and a quarter and score it up. Go out one and a quarter inches from the bottom and score it down. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see this. I got kind of a shimmery cardstock here. But again, refer to the template that's on my blog and you can um, you gotta see where my score marks are, are gonna be here. You see that where it's um, these, these red score lines? That's what we just did. All right, now we're gonna do some cutting and we're going to be cutting out the uh, flip-flop edges. So we want to put it in to our cutter and we want to line the edge of our paper up to one and a quarter inch. And then I'm going to line my cutter, the little uh, uh, marker on the side of my cutter to one and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to pull it down. Whoops! You know what? i got to put my cutting blade on first, otherwise I'm just going to score a big square in the middle. That's not going to work too well. There we go, no editing required. Putting the cutter on. There we go. Okay, lining up our paper. Lining up our cutter to one and a quarter inches. So we are one and a quarter inches from every side here. And I'm just gonna cut up into that score line that I made in the previous step. And I'm eyeballing it. And I'm gonna start my cutter again at the other score line because we don't wanna cut through the flipper in the middle. And I'm gonna pull it down until I get to um, one and a quarter inches from the other end. And I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. Making some riveting videos here today. There we go. Right up to the fold, right up to the score. We're going to skip over the middle part. We're going to put our blade back down on the score and we're going to pull it back down till we get one and a quarter inches 
from the end. They make dies that do this. I think the Stamp Doctor, doctor has a die that will cut these type of cards out. So if you love it and you want to make a bunch, you could check them out. I, I saw them in a stamp show and they were selling those. And I couldn't quite figure out what, what the heck they were until a girlfriend of mine bought one. And then I was looking at it and I saw, oh yeah, that's the kind of cards that they make. I'm just cutting from one cut mark to the other. I'm completing the side of the box here. I'll show you right here what we're cutting. We are cutting uh, these little parts out right here. We're doing that to both sides. I think if you had a drag style rather than a rotary style cutter, this would work a little better. I am getting a little bit of an overcut, but I'm not going to let it worry me because by the time you've got it decorated, nobody's going to notice. And I'm eyeballing it here, starting at one cut and going to the other. All right, so now I've got my cutting done. I'm just going to set this out of the way. And I am going to fold on my score marks. I usually don't use my uh, cutter peed for a scorer. Actually, I pretty much only use that when I go to crops, but um, I was glad I had it for this technique. So bloop, 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 bloop. Sound effects are optional, but isn't that pretty darn cool? Look at it from the side there. Isn't that neat? Well, I just love it. I think it's a really nifty way to make a card. It doesn't really take a lot of time, but just having that fancy fold in there makes all the difference. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!